This is my system that lets you switch between two generators if this one were to perhaps run out of fuel. So say this all got taken out, it would turn off and the other generator would turn on and vice versa. It just switches between them like that almost instantly. So if you're using this for a trap base, then you basically have no downtime. Uh, it does depend, the switching of the electricity does depend on the refresh rate of the server, which doesn't really matter. So sometimes you can get it instantly, sometimes it takes a little longer. So there you go, you see that took, that was basically instant. So I'm going to show you how to make it, <coughs> and I'm also going to show you how to upgrade it a little bit to give you a sort of like low fuel warning that uh, sends a warning to your pager when one of them goes out and the other one has had to come on. So yep, yeah, let's get to it. All you need for this is two petrol generators, two branches, a blocker, a memory cell, an ore switch, and a small battery. So I'm gonna place this, these generators down. Uh, I also need to grab some fuel for them. So I'm going to put some fuel in each of these. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to grab the small battery. I'm going to place it down somewhere around here. This should be quite a compact system, but I'm just drawing it big out on the wall so I can show you what to do. So I'm just going to grab the rest of these items. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ore gate, I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to put a branch on top of it. Leave that at two. And the other branch, you don't need to change anything, just leave it at two. Um, and this one you're going to put on top of a blocker, here. And now you're going to put a memory cell up in the top here. And we're ready to start wiring it. So I'm going to turn on one of the generators. And uh, so you need to make sure, don't connect this battery anywhere until you've got one of these generators on, otherwise you're going to waste the power in the in the battery it's easier to regenerate like a couple low grade fuel than it is to recharge a battery um, so I'm just gonna wire up both both of these so you take the power out of both of the generators I'm gonna wire them neatly so you can see and it's not really something I usually do but there we go so you can see the all switch uh, this basically this all switch just acts as a, a dual input for this branch so I just want to take the power out of the ore into the power in and the power out of the branch wants to go to your system which I'm demonstrating with this light here and the branch out wants to go down here and into the block pass through. From there you want to take the output of your small battery and you want to put it into the power in. So with one of the new updates, I don't know which one specifically but with one of the new updates, batteries don't discharge if the block pass-through function is enabled. So if nothing can go through it, then it doesn't discharge, which is useful <coughs> for this system. So we want to take the power out of the blocker and put it into the power in of the branch. And then either one of these, either way of these is fine, but we just want to take one of the outputs and put it into the toggle function of the memory cell and the other one we want to put into its power function, like so. And now what we want to do is, so I have started with this left generator here. So this memory cell is currently off. When I when I turn this off, it's gonna send a pulse through here. And it's gonna to toggle this. And when it toggles, it's gonna send a pulse through the output of the memory cell. So the first one you want to wire up, you wanna take the output and put it into the generator that is currently turned off. So that's this one, and you want to put it into the force start function. And the inverted output, you just want to do the same and put it into the one that's currently on. Like that, and there we go. Easy. So I'll just explain how it works real quick. So 
you've got power, uh, I'm going to demonstrate on this one. Uh, you've got power coming through here, it's going into the OR gate, and it's just powering your system straight from there. And there's a little bit of it, this is basically an IF statement over here. So it's going into here, and it's creating a NOT gate. So if this is OFF, then this there's going to be a pulse coming out of here, which in turn is going to power and trigger the memory cell. And this battery just stays here uh, because if you remember in my not gates video from like quite a while back, it was almost like a year ago, I think now, uh, you could make a not gate out of a blocker, but it constantly needs a source of power, which has been made a little easier with the addition of this update where it does not discharge all the time. So the toggle function of the memory cell, that basically just switches between output and inverted output. So if the memory cell is off, then inverted output is powered. And if the memory cell is on, then the output is powered. So it's just basically switching between two different things. It's kind of like a transistor, uh, which is also how you use to make uh, the counter that I made in a previous video, the 4-bit counter, it's the same sort of thing. If you wanted to add more generators to switch between, you could easily just hook them up to a couple more uh, memory cells. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, but I could definitely do it if you want to know how to do that, if you don't want to figure it out for yourself, or you don't have access to like a private server where you can test it. Let me know and I'll make a video for you, because I'll be happy to do that for you. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the more advanced bit. So I'm going to grab from electrical here, I'm going to grab an RF broadcaster, a timer, and two electrical branches. So I'm going to unwire our main circuit. I'm going to place two more branches next to them. Uh, again, they you can just leave them as they are. They only need two on each. And then we're going to take uh, the power out of one, put it into the power in, power out, power in, power out, and then put that into your system. So now we should have two branches out left. So I'm going to place a timer and I'm going to uh, branch out and I'm going to put it into the input first. You want to do that because when you power it, you can then set it to one second. You don't get that annoying 10 second accidental trigger. And then we can take the other branch out, take it down here and put it onto the toggle on. So you have just one second. Now I just want to place our RF broadcaster Set it to whatever frequency you want. Mine is set to 1 megahertz on my pager. Oh, you want pager, obviously, also. You just want to take the output of this timer and put it into the RF broadcaster. There you go, you can hear it beeping. So, when one of these switches over, it pulses for one second to let us know. And you can obviously set that as long as you want. But yeah, and then you're only actually taking off about 4, four watts from your total output power. So, it's kind of a worthy investment if you like to spend a lot of time out or if you have your generators in a separate building like a powerhouse maybe and you wouldn't normally realize you could also hook these up to a flashing light that every now and again every maybe 20 seconds flashes to let you know that you're running on one generator uh but yeah it took a long took a while uh yep thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video